Alright, so we're back in the editor with a new fresh map open and now in this tutorial I'm going to cover the remaining useful basic tools that you found on layers, units, dodads, points, regions. Uh, we already went through potting and terrain. Cameras is more advanced so it's not that useful for us right now. Let's start with units. Units simply allows you to add units and buildings to the map for players. Uh, you'll notice this view on the left side of the screen here where you can scroll up and down and you can pick units that you want to add and you can simply drag them out and click on the map and it will add the unit that you have selected. You have a nifty little search box which lets you search for a unit, say a marine type it in and you'll see your results see a couple here changeling changeling and that's the normal marine and you can just click hold on your button and drag around to add lots of units if you want to deselect a unit you can when you have a unit select you can do one of two things you can hit escape and this will allow you to select the units you already placed drag them around you can box them like this and drag them all around or uh, escape or spacebar will do the trick. If you trick spacebar, if you click it again, you will go back to the selected unit. If you click escape twice, you will not. If you double click on any unit you added, you can see its well specs or editor specs, and you can change, for instance, its rotation, its x and y position, which player it belongs to, and so on. When adding units, you can also do that here. You can set the player directly here. And you can drag them out. Like so. Now we have two diff uh, units for two different players. You can add more players as well. Player 3, can I get some marines? Some teal marines here. And so on. We have a p couple of other drop downs there, but they are not so useful at the moment since mo story mode units aren't in right now. So most of them are here. You can select the race that you want to see units for, which is fairly useful. And you can select some specifics here if you want to just see structures or so, but it's sorted quite nicely anyway. You also have um, some use here. You can give it a tree list if you prefer that or just a list, it's or just the buttons whatever you prefer it's up to your preference uh, that should pretty much cover units and of course if you want to remove them just make sure you have your normal selector selected, press the spacebar and just box around them and then you can hit delete and gone they are though that is similar to units uh, you have some search things here, you can spe specify which zone you want it for and so on. For instance, I'm at Belshir map now, so I will pick Belshir to just see the Belshir ones. And you have some more filters, these are all filters, don't worry so much about them. You can also get, once again, buttons, tree or list, I would suggest either list or tree for this, because the icons aren't that good. And you will see there are different categories as you scroll down. For instance, I want to add a tree now. So I type tree, tree bell shear, and I can drag it around. And it will put out trees. And same as the other one, if I want to select them and move them around, I have to hit either escape or space to get the selector. And then I can double click on them and change, for instance, the scale of the tree so I want it to be 150 uh, 150 is weak 300% I want a giant tree and stuff like that and yeah you can find dollars here and just add them on your map just click on the map whatever you want click it out donuts have collision or most of them do so units can't walk through them they will obstruct line of sight, like a tree will obstruct your line of sight for what's behind it, and so on. 
I will cover later on if you want a map with giant trees for instance you will need to go in the data editor is the easiest way to set that up and change the default scaling for all trees before you add them to the map that way you don't have to go into every single tree and set the scale there is an easier way and you can do this to any build add but I will cover that in a different tutorial for now this should do let's move on points first of all you have the start location those are important if you're making a melee map you just click and it will be the start location for the players uh, you will see here it will cycle through this half invisible uh, main buildings on top of them this is where players can start on your map you can rename them once again space bar to deselect the tool and you can double click on them there we go and you can for instance name it uh, top right this is a top right most and this one top left there we go they can also be dragged around as you wish points normally used for the scripting editor we'll get to it later in a later tutorial just for now know that they are here and that you can add them wherever you want and you can also double click in the list here on the left to edit them um... yeah that's uh... these two emitters we won't go through right now they're a bit more advanced not that usual uh, the last thing I want to go through in this tutorial is regions regions are very useful for scripting which we will cover later on to make a region go to regions select circle or rectangle and just drag it out like so this will create a region region zero one a region can have multiple shapes as well um, so you will double click on the properties like this make it a bit larger here you can go to general you can change the name of the region my region uh, custom color if you want but this thing is very useful you can here I have a rectangle say I want the hole in it I will add a circle uh, you see the little checkbox down here negative or positive if you click negative it will subtract from the region so this circle now that I put here will now create a hole in my region this is useful if say you have a you want to spawn units within a region and you have something in your terrain that obstructs the region like say a gigantic hole in the ground or something like that uh, that's a bit big put the hole in the ground here yep you don't want units spawning oops <laughs> you don't want units spawning in the hole so you make a region that is uh, around the hole and you make a hole this way you don't have to make a ton of regions like you had to in the old Starcraft you can just uh, put a circle in the middle and then you can expand its size so it covers the region like so yeah so it covers just the edges around the hole or something like that uh, just get familiar with adding regions and points because they are very useful once you're going to start scripting. You will most definitely need to use them. Dodads and units are dodads are just for looks, uh, mostly. There are some useful things in there as well. Alright, I think that covers most of the basic uh, basics of the editor. I will not go over cameras now because that's also for scripting but it's more advanced we will get back to it later for my next tutorials I will start making a tower defense map and I will show you step by step how you can make one yourself